Set in the year 1959, Stand By Me is a heartfelt coming-of-age drama. After the death of one of his friends, a writer recounts the childhood journey with his friends to find the body of a missing boy. Here's our countdown for the top five alleged behind-the-scenes secrets about the making of the 1986 hit movie, Stand By Me. And stay tuned to the end for a bonus secret you don't want to miss. Number five, allegedly. Rob Reiner agonized over the pie-eating scene because he was having trouble trying to envision what the writer Gordy would become and how it would play out as a 12-year-old. Ultimately, in my mind, he became Stephen King, Reiner said. And Stephen King is a great storyteller, and most of the stories he tells us are supernatural or there's horror involved. Rob Reiner decided to go over the top with it and make it rather cartoonish, the way it would appear in a young boy's mind. According to Reiner, the audience went crazy for it justifying his decision to leave it in. And for those of you wondering, the vomit used in the lard-ass story was made from cottage cheese and blueberry mix. Number four. Allegedly, River Phoenix lost his virginity during filming. Rob Reiner remembered that Phoenix came into work one day with a big smile on his face after spending the night with a family friend. He wrote Reiner on a piece of paper. It finally happened. Also allegedly, Corey Feldman drank alcohol, kissed a girl off screen, and smoked pot for the very first time during that fateful summer of 1985. Number three. Allegedly, the pond the boys fall into was a man-made pool because the crew wanted them to be safe and secure and did not want to put them in a real pond because they didn't know what would be in it. However, Corey Feldman stated in an interview that the joke of the whole thing was the pool was built buried and filled with water in the beginning of June and by the time they got to film the scene it was the end of August so it had been out in the woods for three months and they didn't know what was in it anyway. Contrary to urban legend the leeches were fake. They were molded latex stuck on with rubber cement which the boys found irritating to their skin. Will Wheaton recounted in a 2000 interview that the adhesive with red coloring mixed into it to simulate blood caused them to be denied admission to a water slide after the day's filming because it looked like a contagious skin disease. Number two, the train scene took a full week of shooting, making use of four small adult female stunt doubles with closely chopped hair, made it look like the film's protagonist. Plywood planks were laid across the trussels to provide a safer surface on which the stunt doubles could run. In the shot where Gordy and Vern were running towards the camera with the train right behind them, the train was actually at the far end of the trussels, with two actors at the opposite end. The crew used a 600 millimeter long focus lens that when shot at the telephoto end, compressed the image so much that it made it look like the train was right behind them. Number one. Kiefer Sutherland claimed in an interview that in one of the locations of the film, a Renaissance fair was being held and the cast and crew attended and bought some cookies. Allegedly, the cookies turned out to be pot cookies. And two hours later, the crew found Jerry O'Connell crying and high on cookies somewhere in the park. Before we reveal our bonus fact, please help our channel out by hitting like and subscribe as this greatly helps us out with the YouTube algorithms. And now, our special bonus clip. Here's our bonus fact. The actors weren't allowed to see the body of Ray Brower until they unveiled him on camera. This method was used to unsettle the four boys and gain the best possible reaction. If you like this video, check out these other videos.